AC in editing life and nature. This is the AC out life and nature. Then this is the battery input. As you can see, this is the positive and this is the negative. Then this is the solar. The key is the positive and negative. You can see everything is labeled on the PV battery. This is the on and off. This is for your communication. Okay. Then this is the changeover we are using. So when using this type of knife switch, um, this is the connection that is preferred. That's the connection I'm going to use here. So this is our board. This for the input, this for the output, this for battery, and this for the solar. So connection is about to start. This is live input, this is neutral, and this is live output. Okay, so this neutral and this neutral is the same thing. I will use meter to check it so they will read with connectivity. This is our multimeter. So we want to read the continuity for the neutral. So we'll put it here. This side that has one kind Wi-Fi sound <laughs> wi-fi sign so if you have not watched our video on how to set your meter i will leave the link in the description below okay so just want to be sure that our neutral is linked together so hope you are hearing the sound I'm putting it in the input neutral and the output neutral. So we are hearing the sound of the meter. So that means this neutral link, two of them are linked together inside already. That's why we are making use of only one. The thing has been looped from inside, so we are just using one side. So this one now, which is the input, is this place. Our input key from this key can come and enter the output of the radius. So, this is our input breaker. I've already looked it. So, the short power from the house will enter here. So, as you turn this, it will contact from here. From this ABS, it will delay it for like two minutes. Then, it will come out going to our inverter. So the neutral came straight to this place. So here is our output. This is this 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 breaker is for our output. So this is serving as a protection for our output. So the neutral just went direct. So from here now I will still loop it to enter inside here. So here is where our sure neutral is going to enter neutral neutral they are they are always in contact with one another so i'll just look it from here to here then our output from the inverter is coming here a it's coming here a so from here then our load to the house is coming from a to our load to the hands as you can see a so just all we use this a a a 
so the b side is empty so it's gone from a from that a to this place this is our breaker that will that will protect the output of the house so the house itself will come out from here so the house that's our load our isolation in the house is going to come out from here then go direct so that's it um, our solar is going to enter here but before then it's going to enter the breaker to this place our battery the same thing so that's just basically how the connection was done so once this changeover is down it's on inverter so the changeover will connect the inverter A and the load A so the, this is inverter this is load and this is input so once this changeover is down it's on inverter which means you have connected the inverter output and the load but once maybe you come for maintenance or so you have to put it up so this up is bypass that means you are connecting the house to the shop power straight so that is the reason for this changeover so that you can connect to the inverter and also connect to your shop power or maybe there is a fault with the system and you need to take it to go and repair it so instead of coming to start changing connections or start doing all those things so you just take the changeover off and that's it you have connected the shop power to the output of the house directly so that's the reason for the changeover you can have looked the neutral so this connection that i did now is for a reason so there are still so many other ways you can do your own connection so this particular one is for a reason best suitable for um, our installation and everything that we have planned so that's why the connection was done this way because there are still so many other ways you can do it because um, i was having a discussion with my boss concerning this bypass whether we should put the bypass to the shop power straight instead of putting it to uh, after this breaker it will come to the storage after the storage then to enter here so uh, we ended up uh, making this decision to connect it after the storage so but you can still connect it after that's before the storage that's putting it here direct to the shop power then the inverter input the inverter input that came here we then have to connect to this area direct okay i've connected my battery this is the positive and this is the negative so this is the battery breaker let's turn on the power let's turn the other one this is the on and off button video. 